Hey everyone, welcome back to Dizola Designs. Look at this. I saw this at Joann's, uh, my local Joann's, and uh, these are massive skeins of yarn. Each one is 644 yards of yarn. It's a big twist classic. Um, I did get these on clearance actually for an incredible price. I bought them yesterday. I, and then I, I, I buy yarn to give away, right? That is my whole thing. This is how I make people's days brighter. This is how I put smiles on people's faces, hopefully, and I give back to my yarn community um, as a thanks for watching my videos. I know you guys know, um, for those of you that don't know, I've been having hand issues uh, with my crocheting. I cannot sit and like crochet a whole, um, a whole project in like a day or, you know, a week. With me now, my projects take a lot of time and that's okay, I've accepted that. Um, that's just how it is with me. So in the meantime, while I'm making these tutorials, I like to give yarn away just as a thank you. And yesterday's little haul that I've got at Joann, definitely I used the yarn from my members. My members are a huge support to me and to my channel and to my yarn habit if you will <laughs> but i do buy the yarn and i do give it back so it is um it's just a way of me thanking everyone okay and it's a way of me spreading joy if you guys if anyone is interested in becoming a member i will um shout i always shout out to my new members i will shout those out in a second i gotta get your name but if you guys would like to become a member i make it really easy it's 2.99 a month um, I know times are hard. I know everyone is like, uh, right now, everything is just getting so expensive. I was at uh, Joanne yesterday and just the price of yarn is ridiculous just for one skein. So, um, I give back whenever I can and I use the money that I get from my members to, um, buy more yarn and to buy, I need a, I, I need a new chair. I need a new chair for life. So I always need something for my little, my little piece of my, the YouTube realm. So um, if you guys would like to become a member, it's much greatly appreciated. I'll have the link down below, but um, thank you. Thank you to all my new members. And here they are. My latest members are Nancy S., Halbera M., and Marie D. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's get on. I'm going to talk a little bit about whips. I missed Whip Wednesday. So today is Whip Wednesday on a Thursday. Um, let me talk about my latest uh, whip creation that I am working on. So this is my latest uh, summer project. It is going to be a granny square, kind of like a tote market bag. I'm going to make it six, uh, three across, six wide, um, three across, two rows of threes. <laughs> Six on one side, six on the other side, okay? And then I'm going to have um, the granny squares on the sides and on the bottom too. So it's going to be actually a big bag. It's going to be like a market bag, um, farmer's market bag, throw all your stuff in there. I don't think I'm going to line it. It's just going to be a, um, you know, like an everyday bag. I was going to put some, I was actually, I almost bought the wooden handles, the wooden bag handles, but since it's going to be like an everyday like grocery bag, farmer's market bag, uh, they do get dirty and I do just like to throw them in the wash. So I'm not going to put a wood handle on it. I was going to get a, they have really cute ones on Amazon. They have really cute ones on Etsy too. But um, I was going to put a little bamboo handle on it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make it out of um, the yarn that I'm using. I'm using 
Lily's Sugar and Cream Yarn. I bought all of this yarn last month at Joanne. Joanne was having a sale on this yarn. It was only $2.50 a skein. So I bought all of these fabulous colors. And um, yeah, this is the new uh, whip that I am making. And I will finish it. I only have, I think, eight more squares to go. I need 19 in total. And I got this uh, pattern. This is not my pattern. This pattern is from uh, Margaret Hubert in one of her Granny Square books, Ultimate Granny Square book. It is a very, very easy pattern. So uh, this will be a total tutorial. I will start with the tutorial for the um, Granny Square. And then I will go on and show you how I connect it, uh, connect the squares, and then we'll put it all together like that. And then we'll make um, the handle really, really easy. It's just single crochet. I think I want to have the seam showing on the outside. It's got to be sturdy, so I do have to put... Um, good stitches on it. I haven't figured out how I'm going to connect them yet, but um, you know, that it's in the works. So I hope you guys like this. Again, this will be a total tutorial, a total um, bag, summer bag tutorial. This would be a great beach bag too. So I just thought I'd show you my, um, you know, how it's coming along, my progress on this. Now let's get to the fabulous yarn giveaway okay everyone so here is the yarn that i'm giving away today these are gigantic skeins of yarn this is a big twist classic it's 644 yards of beauty i absolutely love this color it's so beautiful it's a six millimeter hook five weights so it's bulky the color is violet and it is a vivid violet color it's really really awesome um, I got this at Joanne it was super super fabulous and all you have to do to be entered to win is make sure that you are publicly subscribed to my channel creators can now see if you guys are subscribed or not only subscribed people will win. So if I pick your name and I see that you are not subscribed to my channel, I will pick another person, okay? It's free. I just think it's a small ask. That's it. <laughs> um, so make sure that you're subscribed and then all you have to do is answer the following question. When I saw this at the store yesterday, this reminds me of it, like the villains in Disney. Um, and it, it, I'm like, ooh, that's really, really pretty. So here is the question. Who is your favorite villain in a movie or book? Who is your favorite villain? Every story has an antagonist and a protagonist. Every good story, anyway. Who's your favorite? Um, in books, there's always The Man in Black from Stephen King. Every Stephen King novel has a great antagonist, um, I, I can't even think, and Star Wars, again, it's Darth Vader, uh, and the Tolkien novels, Lord of the Rings, it was uh, Saruman, Saruman, and Saruman, um, I can't even think of anything right now, you guys, just let me know, your favorite, how, how's this, your favorite villain in a work of fiction, could be whatever you want in a video game. It could be a book, could be a movie. Just let me know down below. Good luck. I hope you like this. I think this is, I mean, this is first of all, a ton of yarn and this is a great giveaway, I think. Hope you guys are having a great summer and thank you so much for watching my channels. Uh, channels. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will talk soon. Bye.